back with another video uh fishing we're doing the same thing man trying to find these kokanee um as the last time so thanks to everyone that's been giving us tips and stuff we've learned quite a bit i feel like since the last time so we got a bunch of new kind of stuff to do a little better than we did before um so i feel pretty good about it uh we're kind of at a new we're down a little further than usual also so we'll see if we can find a spot here to start fishing and then hopefully get some of these kokanee man so uh just thanks for watching guys and stay tuned we'll uh, be catching fish here shortly hopefully i'm gonna get my i'm gonna get my little hoochie going here little hoochie on there what's that now dude Yeah, I got orange on here. Put a couple kernels on each. having two hoochies pink one orange one a uh, little shrimp thing I don't some little rubber shrimp kind of like a hoochie thing but uh, and then we're gonna have that fly on so that's what we're gonna be running we're gonna be running corn and uh, maybe some shrimp got that fly from last time Charlie we're hammering this thing last time See if we can't get some kokanee on it this time. <clears throat> A lot of people out here today compared to usual. <clears throat> we never come here before, but shocked. And it's raining out pretty good. We are the only uh, we are the only people out here with not a cover a cab on their boat. Everyone else got a nice little cabin. This one's straight out the back. Um, no planer board or nothing. I'm just gonna have it like, I think I'm gonna go like 200, 200 yards out the back. Or not yard, 200 feet. That'd be crazy, dude, 200 yards back there. That's the main thing we're changing from last time is we're having all our sets back further. The main main thing. Two hundred. We're also gonna. I'm gonna try to like get us kind of zigzagging, making some sharp corners. Cause I know I've heard these kokanee will follow your stuff, man. They'll follow it all the way down the lake, and they won't bite it till you know something changes. So. Making some sharp, sharp corners can kind of get them to react to it sometimes. hooked up on this third one hoochie pink hoochie
smaller rainbow again. Another one on the pink, pink hoochie. Another rainbow. And we got this one right here, pink hoochie or uh, orange hoochie. Fly, 200 feet back. Uh, pink hoochie. 125. This one's 150 back with a little rubber shrimp deal on it. Corn, corn, shrimp, corn, corn. All right, we're a couple hours in here. We're gonna take off that uh, that shrimp, rubber shrimp thing, put another hoochie on, different color, kind of gold one. And then uh, we're gonna we're gonna try some maggots on that one. We don't have no maggots. We haven't really used much for maggots trolling, so we're gonna see how that goes. But we just got those two. Or no, we got three rainbows now. Two small ones, one nice one. Missed one fish, so. I'm getting us going, kind of zigzagging out here. I kind of got us out a little deeper offshore. But, uh, yeah. Just keep rolling here. Still sprinkling a little bit, but it's died down a lot, so. Hopefully it's done doing that for the day. But it's not. <laughs> it's supposed to pick up here any minute. You got rain. I got rain gear on, but I don't put it on ever, dude. Yeah. I don't know why I never do. I should. And then twist the line a bunch. To like start twisting. Way back? Or? To start twisting it so it'll fit into the orange thing. Like yeah, to start twisting, twisting, and then all your wraps you want to put into the orange thing. And then try not to create too big a hole. On the outside, but I kind of did, so I mean, it's probably not a big deal. Yeah, something like that, and then stick with all those wraps into the. Yeah, it was, it, that's we got a new little trick with the boards because these two rods over here have been having trouble coming out. Like, we hit them and they just stick in there, so you gotta take both clamps off when you get a fish. But uh, we've had some tips on like wrapping it and then sticking it in there. And we tried it last time, it worked out good, it popped right out, so. Thanks for the tips on that. We'll see if it works this time, but it, it worked pretty good last time, right? If I did it right. That one was on the fly again. Right when we were making our little sharp corner too, so it makes me think it was a kokanee, but hard to tell, you know, you never know. But yeah, dang it, we missed him. Rain's coming down again. been throwing pretty consistent about 1.1 1 1.3 pretty consistently so Hit that 
tight corner, so hopefully it's a help. See him flying back there, dude. This ain't really close. It's good, dude. It's fun. <laughs> ain't it? Oh, you almost hit you in the head with it. This thing's fun, dude. Ultra light rod. Really tiny one again, dude. Just another rainbow. He's got some crazy spots on him. If he's on there, he's not fighting very hard, dude. Yeah, I think he is on there. That's the bow. Another bow. Another trout on the orange hoochie. Well, I think that's the first one actually, but had some corn on there. That's him, real. I'm up in our I'm up in our weight size, just to mess around, see if those kokanee are maybe a little deeper, a little deeper than those rainbow. Can't hurt to try. That's the one thing we haven't really messed with yet today is different weights. So. Oh, cook up some food here. I don't know if you guys ever had these before, but they're pretty good actually. These peak refuel. For a dehydrated meal like this, they're pretty dang good. Especially the chicken alfredo pasta. And you get, get quite a bit too, it fills you up actually. They're super easy to make, so. See how this stuff turned out. Being being honest, though, stuff's pretty good for a meal like this. The lines are pretty good. Oh. All right, we're gonna. We've been like pretty close to shore. It's just slow, so we're just gonna come out here in the middle, center line, just try this middle of the lake out. Same like depths and everything, just try out here in the middle. Everything usually seems like better for us on shore, but or close to the bank, but it's dead right now, so we're gonna come out here and see. I always see other boats out here, but we never really trolled out right in the middle, so we're gonna see how this goes. Fish or no fish? I don't know. Oh, yeah, take it. This one might have a fish on it, too. Yeah, that one might have a fish, dude, because that one just got fish. This is on the green corner. <laughs> dude, where's the planer board? Underwater? I don't even see the board, dude. dude the planer board's like 10 feet under the water. He's 
really fighting, huh? Big rainbow here. Look at that. Is that side all bloody too? Uh, no. <laughs> Dude, that's a slab. Three six. Uh, three five. Three five, dude. That's a nice, nice rainbow, dude. Yeah, guys. He he jumped. I seen him jump back there like a couple times. I must have just seen his belly because he looks super silver, man, shiny. But just a rainbow. I thought for sure that was it, but just a rainbow. Out here in the middle of the lake, though. Right, guys i think we're gonna head out of here it's almost two o'clock and it seems pretty dead so um it was a pretty good day man we caught how many rainbows like six or seven had some get off um no kokanee either i don't know if it's like seems like we're doing stuff pretty good now but it could be the day too it's like pretty overcast been raining all morning windy so I'm sure that doesn't not helping us at all so um that could be part of the reason we're not catching any kokanee but you know, we still got more stuff to learn too but uh yeah good day out here um thanks for watching guys thanks for all the tips and see you on the next one